Hi, and welcome to Zans TV. My name is Belinda Bez, and this is your three month reading. God bless you. And I cannot wait to see the new view. I forgot I was here. I started thinking. <laughs> See how my mind go? Got so many things. I got a lot to do tonight. Okay, so here we go from the top of the reading. I feel like there's time for judgments in your life. And with those judgments come judgments about relationships. I do see where income is going to be picking up for you. Since less than three weeks, if you're looking for something to go into, double the income. One of these things is for responsibility. Something that you need to cover, something else is coming up in your cards, okay? But I feel like whatever that is, is going to be uh, taken care of before the 12th week. Before the 12th week, whatever this is, is going to be taken care of, okay? It shows you thinking about getting together being having a good time you're ready to go to the next level uh, there's a fear in your cards too but i think that is something that has that needs to be uncovered i'm not a specialist so i wouldn't know how to tell you how to recover from any type of fear but fear is ducking behind the situation where you're looking to find more happiness in your life okay it says that you're traveling towards this mate whoever this mate has you've been thinking about the mate for a long time i do see that you are ready for the next level with this mate but i don't see this mate moving He's too much. This individual is too much for you. You need to leave him alone by the end of October. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that. I do see the fear. I see where the fear is coming up because it's like you don't want something to end. But I do see ultimate happiness, but I see it in another area of your life. Because it's it's saying happiness. It's shooting happiness out, but the fan is blowing the opposite way. So by the end of the month, the relationship will be over. I don't think that it's going to be over the way you want it to be over. I think it has been leaking out. You know how you... Leaking, 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 like busting a balloon and it's been slowly leaking and leaking and leaking and leaking. And by the end of the month, you're going to, it's going to be less communication coming in with the situation, less and less communication coming in. And then by the end of the first month, you're going to be going in, an, in, in another direction. If you thought this person was cheating, if you thought this person is, I just see infidelities here. I'm hearing infidelities here. So there was some infidelities in this. And I don't do those type of readings, but I do see it here in your cards. It's just talking about, it just shows you sniffing out the facts. So there was infidelities if you think somebody was cheating the communication is getting less and less and less you're wanting things to move up but i'm seeing that you are being by yourself by the end of october you'll see this relationship has gone to a next level as far as endings okay that's what's coming up for that Here we go. So when we talk about the second time frame, it's going to slow down just a little bit for time purposes. I don't know if you knew with me. Usually I don't do readings past four minutes, five minutes, six minutes. If I go into 20 minutes because I felt to move on, so I'm just going to try to go slow, honey. I don't know nothing about no 30-minute read. I ain't got that kind of time. 30 minutes. Yeah, please. I got 30 minutes to go get gas and get a couple of switches and get a barbecue sandwich. I ain't got 30 minutes to sit here and chit-chat, okay? So you're thinking about... Uh, Maybe reaching out to this individual. This individual is going to be bagging back from you. Don't reach out to them. Don't reach out to them. Whatever's going to happen between you and this individual, let it happen. Let it happen. Because I do see what this person is having some type of anguish going on, some type of me mental anguish. Now, this is a commitment, phobe. This is someone that doesn't want to commit, first of all. This is a commitment, phobe. And not only is it, a, oh, I'm running out of time. And no, uh, my, my battery low. And not, oh, not only is this a commitment for this is um, someone that's having financial issues too. They're having some type of financial issues and they're trying to clean some things up. But continue with that ending. Continue with that ending. Don't rub the cat on his back, man. Don't call and say, it's going to be a cat. Uh-uh. There's more than 10 fish in the sea that's ready to swim your way if you just go out in the water. You understand? So that's how that works. Move on for a little while. Move on for a little while. I don't think this person can give you what you need for the next two months or this is some type of loneliness in a situation that ended in that way. Also, I do see changes and I see new beginnings. You are end it. End it. There it goes again. End it. Don't try to regroup it. End it. Don't try to regroup it in November. End it. 
This, this situation is over. Too many complications on his end, and then you being confused and what you ultimately want because of the confusion. So that has to be ended. You're going in a new direction. You're going to have to because it keeps pulling you that way, but you keep pulling up the situation in your mind. You keep pulling up the situation. Well, do I need to be with them? I need to be with them, or I'm wanting to be with them. I see you going back and forth with this individual. Going, It's over, mama. It's definitely over. I don't see any kind of... In, I don't see anything bringing you out. I don't see anything dragging you out of this situation because you keep doing this. I only want what I want. I only want what I want. And that's not what's going on. This relationship is been over. By the end of October, you're going to really see it. And then the next month, you're going to go into it like it's going to start again. I see back and forth and forth and back. I do not see commitment. This is a commitment for he's not ready for a relationship or moving in a relationship. Okay. There's a phobia here, and I don't see him saying yes to a commitment. I do see him saying yes to fixing these issues he has. There's something with finances going on with this individual, and they are fixing it, but they're not moving on a relationship with anyone. If you felt like they're dealt with anyone, I don't think that they've dealt with anyone on a serious matter. It's been the same situation. Play and go. Play and go. That's it. Nothing. When it gets to that point of the relationship, the individual is probably even out before then. Um, but I see this circling around you. Now, I do want to pull out some positive points in your second month. The positive points in your second month is communication opening up for you, for yourself. At that time, if you want to do any kind of vacations, go off to any new positions, get into any type of writing, move from one area of your life to the next area of your life. You want to choose the second half of November for change because I see huge opening for communications when I see a huge opening for letting somebody go. Like the black hole is telling you all you got to do is look over here and it'll drop. That's, that's, that is the big message here in it. Just end it. Uh, the communication is gonna not going to help anything. You feeling a certain way about the situation is not going to help you. I don't see this person in your... If you, you didn't ask me about it, but I'm telling you, there is not any permanent situations in your car when it comes down to love. There is no commitments here. The only phobe is that individual, and the only decision you need to make is try to do your best to walk off and push them over the black hole ledge. Pull them over the black hole ledge, okay? And then just rethink things, rethink how you love, rethink how you're moving into new situations because it's looking good for communications in November, the second half. Not love. Leave love alone. Leave situations alone and reopen yourself in a new direction, meaning go in a new direction. Go after new things. Go after new people. Go after new situations. And you're going to see new developments, new things that's going to open up. And you'll have to respond to those things in a new way in order to carry a new attitude. No more. No more. That's over, okay? You can pick and choose your, you can pick and choose your life, but you can't pick and choose your time. Just remember I told you that. And your timing is in November to cut the ropes. And this is your last month. And I want to say thank you again. If you would like to get a reading, be proctor 2011 at gmail.com. Now, here we go. Here we go. Now, this is what I like to see. Two months of gripping and grabbing and pipping and pabbing. Two months of, I'm holding on. I ain't seeing shit, but I'm holding on. I'm holding on. I'm holding on. I'm slipping and I'm holding on. I'm slipping and I'm holding on. I ain't seeing nothing. I got the facts and I'm holding on because it's going to work out. Okay, time out for that. Go ahead and push Luther into the, the black box because by December, communications open up really, really good. I told you to open up at the second half of November. And you're going to see new things. Things pop up instantly in the financial area of your life. But yet you're still worried why you haven't heard from this individual because they're not trying to get into a relationship. The ending of a situation is really going to bother you. I feel like you're a very soulful woman. You're a very passionate woman. And, that's, and, and you're realistic about your feelings. That's one of the reasons why you can't let go because you're passionate. But you have to know where to put that energy. You put it in your career area. You don't put the live with the dead because the dead is going to eat up the live. And you're going to find yourself having to fight for what's good in your life when you let dead situations uh, begin to sit there. Okay. So here we go with the endings. Mulling over ending. Every woman does it. Every man does it when a relationship is over. Now it shows you opening up. I feel like when your heart opens up again, it's going to open up more for the understanding. Understanding also with the understanding is talking about scholarships, schools, and education. So at that time in December, if you're thinking about going into school or if you're in school and you're going to be finishing school, you're going to be doing that. Something scholastic, something educational, but it also is attached to the energy of learning who you are. Once that situation begins to be 
over mentally for you you're ready to begin with something new and in this energy of something new is bringing you into education with this loss almost you want to regain it with knowledge that's beautiful new money is coming in i do see you want a new love too soon i see you want to love too soon i see you want to love too soon it, i see no that ain't it. he gonna come back girl tell me i'm gonna come back your friend or whoever this is gonna be back in November. This fool gonna come back in November and it looks like the slate is clean. I say keep old Joe Blow in the black box. It looks like you rekindle yourself and bring yourself back some kind of way. And you get you get yourself back on cue, but you get yourself back on cue with a straight line. Now you know who you are. Now you know. Now you know. Now you know what you should have applied to the situations then learning is everything i saw education in there so that probably was what that was you have come into who you are in december you come into that womanhood you've come into that sternness you've come into that I ain't taking this, I ain't taking that, I ain't taking this. You're not so free anymore. You're not so gift giving. You're not so, okay. And then this person re-enters. It looks like an old love. And when I say old love, it's somebody that you have recently had within the last 24 weeks. Not within the last 24 years, not within the last six years, not within the last year, last couple of weeks or so. So we're going to talk about weeks, last three months, last two months, not way back past a year. This is this individual. Now, I do see this individual come in with a heartfelt story. It will be up to you if you want to take this individual back, but I see that you're going to be doing a lot of thinking. I see you transitioning from one area of your life to another. Uh, when, it, when it's in here saying one level to another, you're going to be moving some kind of way. Or your work-related projects are going from one building to the other. Lots of thinking. You're going to be doing lots of thinking. You look very scholarly. Maybe you have degrees. Maybe you have a really, really huge edu education. Maybe you have a lot of knowledge in an area of your life. But you're really going to be representing that. You're going to be presenting that very hugely with before the year is out. So presenting this huge thing, you're going to be making this decision about whatever this individual comes to you with, about being together, about the irresponsibilities of what they did. They're still not a commitment folk to me. But right now, it looks like they kind of changed. Well, if it's not this person, this person that's coming in, in December around that time could be before then reminds you every much so of that past partner was dead is gone baby wanting to love in a new way you're going to be learning yourself you're going to be finding out who you are uh within this next three months or so and that is a beautiful thing because now you know how to execute your feelings and when to wear your heart on the sleeve when not to wear your heart on the sleeve how to recognize a, a certain partner that's not for you when to recognize how to you know what kind of money to make when the kind of money to make do i want to make this kind of money those decisions are going to come second and first nature for you before the year is out and that's beautiful for you rethinking the the red flags in the relationship that's what you're going to be looking at in December too. Why didn't I see this? And why didn't I see that those things are going to be approaching your mentality in that time? Marriage is not for you right now. I would not leave love alone if you can. Leave love alone if you can. At the same time, you're going to be pondering over this loss, but you're going to be wanting to communicate with this person about the loss. Leave your blow in the, in the death spot. Leave your blow in the death spot because you're going to be coming up with some new realizations and then the, the cup is going to turn in your favor and then they'll get to see or this is going to be a new partner where you're going to be executing these new things that you learn within the next two months. Also, spiritualism, worrying at night, money and negotiations, new positions coming in. You're still at that time at the beginning of December, still kind of flaky. You're still kind of timid you still don't know what you want you're still kind of worried about what can you obtain you're limiting yourself you're limiting your blessings by thinking in a box you can't be you can't be putting no small things on god because that ain't who he is you put great things you go big you think big you think lord you want things in your life you think you go big don't go small don't put limits because you, if you put limits, you're going to get limits. If you don't put no limits, then anything can happen, and it opens you up for new things. It delivers you from a small mind frame. I'm not saying that's you. I'm just saying don't limit yourself when it comes down to the things that you're faithing for, the things that you want to bring into your life. Spiritualism is around you if you open up just a little bit and quit limiting yourself and how you want to be blessed. Looking for new money. We're looking for it in November and December. Maybe the top of the month you're going to be offered something, but I see big money cards for you, and I see school, and I see education, and I see real and thought mind and body my name is Belen best god bless you i cannot wait to see the new you these next three months you're gonna have to let something go if it's not a relationship whatever this fear is 
You're going to see what it is in October and you're going to have to let it go. At the end of the month, you're going to really see new things coming in. You, that realization is going to start at the end of October. Now, in November is when that realization walks into that, I got to walk out, I talk it. What I'm seeing, I got to get out and do. And you're going to see yourself slowly but surely going into that. And then you're going to start getting educated about who you are through that innocent time. I see a person that doesn't want to be in a relationship. But then at the end of December, I see someone popping in wanting to be in a relationship. So that could either, it looks like him to me because this is like a whole new person. It seems like somebody has been renewed or something. But if not... If not, that's somebody new coming in that's going to remind you so much of that individual. But you're going to be rethinking things. You you will be bringing in some positive things, but you have to do those with self-effort. Anything that's going to be positive that's going to be going on or anything that you want to happen into your life, you're going to have to get out and go get it in November and December because remember, you're in this education process. You're in what am I willing to do? What can I do? What are my limits? Where do I put my faith? Am I limiting myself? Yes, you are. Get out and walk in like you're talking and you're going to see them blessings come in bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger this is a good reading if you understand where i'm taking you you have to pick up whatever happened in that relationship and ride it like a skateboard all the way to where you want and you're going to see at the end of the day you really are going to get what you want you just have to learn who you were god bless you